All right, yes, yes, yes. Basic to baddies part two, like I said I was going to do. And I'll be doing um, episode three as well. But let's go ahead and get into uh, part two. Y'all already know. We got all over here. Dogs might start barking. The camera might start fucking working. I might leave for a while. Leave y'all. I'll be back though. But hell, let's get into it. What challenges are we facing every day? What do we need to let go? And I think this was the best way to do it. They really showed me something. Hey, hey. hey. you're so pretty. Okay. Hey, 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 all right, so the first thing is when we had the interview when I did my casting call the reason you guys got picked is because you guys came up there with stories you guys came up there telling me certain things and as y'all saw it was a lot of girls there and as y'all can see that it's not a lot of girls here um I guess you guys had a conversation with Frankie earlier about why the reason y'all was really here so I just want to know why y'all really here that's just my question hell I've been wondering that since episode one and I skipped so far and I still don't know why the fuck they here. <laughs> they didn't get this through <laughs> in part two. Shit, maybe. Oh, why y'all really I heard it was cloud, but maybe I got something Wait, different. Well, maybe I got something different. Get myself confident. You know, get exposure and, you know, make other girls. You're really beautiful. Like, no matter what nobody says. And then when Frankie, Frankie said I was cute, you got Juju laughing. Like, girl, I'm cute. It's almost like she had a little bit of a crush on Frankie. Like, she was like, oh, you know, I like you. Okay. Frankie said I'm cute, so that means I'm cute. So why are you laughing? This is childish. Like, what you laughing for? From the outside looking in, what do y'all feel my girl has been through? Because I think I keep hearing it. I mean, just what I, what I seen mm -hmm. and what I heard is with her family. My baby father. Her baby. I got three different baby babies, and I'm always good judge. I'm always, somebody always talking about absolutely i feel like it's a lot of stuff that people don't see you've seen a lot on the internet y'all can feel how you feel about me but it's a lot of stuff that people did not see. you get what i'm saying and it's a lot of stuff that i had to bring myself out of that a lot of people don't know about and i'm just keeping it real and honestly and truly this was like something different for me because i i mean i didn't have to be here. you guys didn't have to be here and i'm just i'm nobody helped me do this i did this myself i paid for everything i did this. you know what i'm saying so it's like with the help of my team of course but it's like i don't I don't bring people around me for a certain type of reason. You get what I'm saying? Right. If you want clout from me, I don't bring you around me. If you want certain type of things from me, I don't bring you around me. Okay, so why are they here again? Aren't they there to get some clout or something? They had to be a baddie. Explain this shit to me. What is going on? <laughs> Basic to baddie. They there for some clout. They trying to get their name out there. And I think, Cloud. I feel like if that was said the day of, you wouldn't be sitting right here in front of my face. It's certain type of energies that I like around me. It's certain type of energies that I let feed into my spirit because I have to go home to my child. And if you make me mad and I'm up here arguing and whatever, whatever the case may be, I'm not trying to go home and feed that to him. I might as well, you can go, bye, see you later. Yeah, that ain't gonna hurt my feelings, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I 
it's supposed to be. And look how you stand on that. I think yeah. that's what we mean when we yeah. stand. We know what we Because that's what I mean when I say it. Right. Like, that's a plus to me watching you. You act like that ain't nothing. Like, you brush that off and look who you are. Absolutely. So, I just feel like I want to show my kids and I want to show other people that it's more like that we can do anything to our minds. Like, that's not as far as my kids. Like, it's not even about like, and I, and I respect you as a woman because be a strong woman then you'll be weak. Be absolutely. And you're not that. You know what I'm saying? You are a strong woman because you overcame everything. But you have a platform. You're showing your son. You're showing people that's in your family. You're showing people that's in your life that they can become whoever they want to become. Absolutely. You are. That's what. That's what they mean by influencing. Mm -hmm. You are influencing other people and letting them know that they can be whatever it is they want to be. And that's what I want to do for my family. It ain't even about. What I've been through, it ain't about what I overcame. I mean, yeah, they see that, but I want to show them that it's another way. Like this, we don't gotta be stuck with the bare minimum. So, how you? And that's why I like her ass. You would think, you know, yeah, she a little hood, a little rough around the edges, but she knows what she wants. She, she's like the most grownest woman on here. Although she gonna speak her fucking mind, but. Come on, she, clearly she know what the fuck she wants. I don't even think she should be there as well as Sally. Mm -hmm. Um, actually these bitches ain't bagging up what they said. Like, you know what I mean? Some of them on, on the same tip, feeling like how they was feeling, but I heard things that was different and I may could have interpreted it wrong, but you know, one plus one is two. Right. But yeah. hey, could have got a different heart meeting you face to face and seeing you in person versus I guess them dealing with me and the reality hitting it with you, but Right. I don't but know. I just feel like bosses stand on what they say, whether it's good or bad or whatever. You gonna stand on what you say. You a woman, all y'all grown. So if you said it, you said it and that's what you mean. I mean Who said what? Answer who? Hey, that's just how I feel. I'm I'm bitch up out there with you. Real baddies, real baddies don't care about how. never gonna change. We say it. Cause I said what I said, and if you don't like it, don't. So, but I think it's time for. Let's you Like people always think, like I got my lips done, and my lips are real. So. They are. I always been made fun of saying oh your lips big okay I see it or you don't pronounce words right like I'm not from here so my accent is like kind of different but like people see my glow and when they don't have anything to say about me they try to call me ugly we're gonna give you guys these wipes to wipe off your makeup you have three minutes to get the products that's placed on the table do your face after those three minutes are up we're going to let you guys look at yourself oh, I'm no, God. I'm so I'm not do makeup i so we're about to go ahead and get into it i'm about sense. to give you guys one I'll minute to wipe off y'all makeup The goal for this activity is sometimes you got to pull it together yourself. And I'm just keeping it real. I didn't have hostings. My flight was delayed. I didn't make it there when it's time to go. I, I have, I, I'm trying to figure it out in the, on the, on the, on the sprinter to the club. Real, real life lip gloss and glasses on. Period. Point blank. You get what I'm saying? Like this is a life that I really live. This is not for the play play. Like this is something that I really have to do. You get what I'm saying? And if y'all can go look at my pictures, nine times out of ten, I just got lip gloss on. And I'm and keeping it moving. And I, okay. If you don't have on makeup, you're beautiful. So I know they was mad at me about this one, but y'all, they had to go ahead and do that makeup with no phone, no mirror, and Walmart products. Let's see what you can do. All right, with y'all. I don't know, I don't wear makeup like that, so. 
What's wrong with Walmart products? So like, somebody let me know. <laughs> I, I don't do makeup. I do a little bit of lip gloss and eyelashes or whatever, but they all look the damn same. To just shut up and not say nothing, which is a lot of times, yeah, we got to. I heard you saying like everybody got a boss over a boss. Understand that. You in a position, our position. You in a position to where you just need to listen and give an instruction. You talking to me. The simple tasks, do your. Let me take it back. To me, like, y'all. Run that uh, shit back. Like okay, ladies, go ahead. Show me what you're working with. No, we gotta wait until we done so they can look at that show. She the only one that needs it. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, that's my go to too. That little go, I put I swear I'll be yeah. I swear I'll be doing that. You can't go wrong with a little go, right? Oh, look out. All right. Y'all got six seconds left. Five. Five. Three. Two. One. Y'all just drop it. Y'all just drop it. Just drop it. Just drop it to the ground. Just drop it. Just drop it. Just drop it. The makeup challenge, the makeup challenge was the makeup challenge. Um, I said what I said. I said what I said, and it wasn't to be, to go against nothing. I just said what I, you know what I mean? That's how I felt at the time, so I said it. I don't, I, don't, I can't, I can't, have, I don't got nothing to say about that. Frankie, how you feel? As far as what? The ladies doing their makeup. Oh, I cool. Y'all talk too much for me, like, y'all wouldn't make it. Y'all talk too much. Like, y'all get too much back talk. Like, y'all got too much to say. When we get stuff, we gotta do it. We don't get an option sometimes. And I know you point out with Ebby. Ebby is, is the beast. The most best creative director we any of us have ever worked with. When she call us for something, we gotta do it. Period. We ain't get no lip. And if we give a lip, we ain't get no check. Y'all talk too much. All that arguing, you wasting most of your time doing uh, running your mouth back and forth. Color badass attitude. It's just too much talk. Like, understand something like, when to just shut up? And not say nothing, which is a lot of times, yeah, we got to. I heard you saying like everybody got a boss over a boss. Understand that. You in a position, our position. You in a position to where you just need to listen and give an instruction. You talking too much. The simple task, do your makeup, no phone, in the dark. All the answers should have been was okay. Figure it out. If all you can do is a lip gloss and a little liner, do it. If all you can do is, is filling a little eyebrow on your ends and put a little eyeshadow on, do it. Stop talking about so what you can't do. That's your step one. Well, step one, where you wrong get right there. You ain't even tried it telling saying what you can't do. It's just like what your grandma tell you. That's all I gotta say about y'all. I don't like y'all no more. I don't like y'all no more. It's only the second episode. <laughs> but no, I, no, I honestly understand where he's coming from because think y'all thought like full face literal full face we look what's in front of us we don't got no foundation like it was it honestly it was supposed to be like a little fun activity everybody you know try something new y'all ain't never did that before honestly and truly y'all thinking i'm finna look like a fool on camera people finna look at me crazy whatever the case may be that's why you're here we're here to try to build confidence we're here to try to make you get out of, get outside of your comfort zone you're not comfortable with that. That's a, that's a problem with foot within. I mean, you, I'm gonna just be honest, cause I can walk up here with no makeup, no lashes, no nothing, and still feel like I'm telling everybody in here. And I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. That's just how I feel. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like it take a lot to get that way. Point blank period. I done had, y'all done saw me. Hair, hair not done, hair all over my head. Guess what, I'm still in front of you. What you gonna say about me now? Period, point blank. And that's just a prime example. You get what I'm saying? So I think Frankie is more so upset because he feels like, a lot of y'all want to be in this industry, but in this industry, you talk back to people. Chris not going to work with you. Yeah, that, you got a bad attitude. All right, bye. Period. I'm not work with you. And a black woman, all you got to do is say what's up the wrong way and you probably mad. Hello. Period. Hello. We now, got, now, now you're blackballed. Now exactly. you're wondering why y'all got no checks coming because you talk to me. We got deals cut because we came early this year. Hmm. Little simple stuff. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? We like we have landed late shit that ain't even got nothing to do with us so many times. Hello. And they're, and they're crying trying to do shit. The same shit that y'all got in front of y'all, we didn't use words from CVS. At least y'all got y'all shit from Walmart. We passed it. Is it a CVS around here? Walgreens on the but way? Hold on, Frankie. What's that fucking story we went to in that little gas station where we had to. Girl, like, come on now. Frankie, like, what? wait a minute. 
we just gonna let them look at themselves. Oh yeah, they'll start there. So, so go ahead, just look, bring y'all phones out. I know y'all got y'all phones. You just got to bear with whatever you have, and and if you don't have it, you just got to make something work and figure it out. None of y'all had a lot of makeup so all anyway. I'm just confused on what I'm saying. None of y'all really had a lot of makeup all anyway. Y'all do. Like, it's literally the same thing. Don't even look bad. Simple. Simple. I hope the girls feel confident in their own skin. I hope they know that they're beautiful, whether their hair is done, whether their makeup. Uh-huh. Now what they finna do. Okay. So I think we're about to go ahead and clean up before we get into the next part of this. You know, you have to do what you have to do. Make your own money. Be a boss. Keep your head on straight. It's like repetitive. Expect things to go a certain way. And it don't. They get mad at other people. You know, so I just want everybody just to be cool. I don't know. I, I, just, I just want to grow. I'm just tired of being a good bear yeah, I lost my brother. My brother died. My brother died in jail. And I'm definitely angry. Oh, really? I'm really angry. And I'm really hurt. And I'm fucked up. Yeah. You know, that that was something serious to me. Because I didn't get to see him. And I haven't gotten to see him. And I will never see him again. And I'm angry. And I'll always be forever angry about that. Um, I don't know what could be done, but that's just, I, I just want to, I want to grow, maybe growing and, um, getting more opportunities in this world to show my brother, um, you know, that I can do it, that, that'll help me, that'll ease my pain. I don't want to be angry. I just am. Um, I just, I just am. And I, I'm, I, I don't know. I just want to grow. I want to grow and I want to do this for my people. Yeah, you got that many bad girls and all that shit, but they didn't pick me. <laughs> so they ain't that motherfucking girl. <laughs> she that girl. I fuck with her. I fuck with her. No, I respect her. But when I grow and grow, and I always want to give her her talk. No matter what. And I like that. I like that. I love her. She, she, I love that. She didn't have to give us this opportunity. She didn't have to. I don't care. She didn't have to. She could have did what she wanted to do in her life and keep growing her as her own. Boss and keep growing how she want to grow. She didn't have to give other women an opportunity to grow with you So I just want everybody to know, like, this opportunity is to take advantage of we coming to see an audition. I was nervous, but I knew you was gonna give me this opportunity, bitch. I bet, bitch. Why? I knew it was coming. Like, <laughs> I could smell it. I like that. Oh, really? yeah. Okay. Okay. So y'all see these journals in y'all left. Can y'all pick up y'all journals for me, please? I have one. Y'all got some cute ones. These journals is your safe place. You can write how you feeling. You can write the depression that you going through, went through, facing. You can write what anxiety you have. You can write anything in here. You don't have to worry about nobody seeing it. You don't have to worry about nobody reading it. Because after you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and rip it up. We're going to burn it. So anything that you've been holding on to, anything that you're ready to let go, go ahead and write it down. And after that, we're just going to let it go. He and I are pretty much going to be telling you guys some things that we want to let go. Some stuff from let it go, let it go. No son going through the same, like going through it right now. Right. He's three and doesn't right. know nothing about the internet. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like there's a lot of things that I hold on to that I, I feel like I regret. And I just want to be able to let it go. I just want to be like, be able to say, if it, that's what it is. And a lot of stuff I have let go. Yeah. But there's still stuff from like my child. Yeah. But for me to actually come out and say it, it felt good because I never actually faced it. I probably told my play sister and said, girl, this is what this had, this is what was told to me. But I never actually took the time out to say, this is how I felt. I never actually got a chance to cry it out. And I feel like, um, when you're teaching, and especially when you're trying to be a good role model, you gotta put that point out sometimes. 
you can't be scared. You got to let it out some way, somehow. So with the fire being lit, I was like, okay, it's time for me to let it go. My second daughter. I had to talk to my baby daddy when he told me to kill my baby. And I hate him for it. And I shouldn't hate nobody. I hate him, but I never say it because I know it's not good to say it. Portrayed about belief, baby, it's great to say it. You have to anything. It's, it's one thing to say it and another thing to truly act on it. You know, those feelings are meant to be said. You have to let them out. Yeah. That's what therapy is for. You create your own safe space. You create your own moments where you can release whatever it is that you need to release, but let it stay there. There's no reason that you should have to carry that. Because that's going to make it work. It's like the burger on the back, the bag leg. You know, you don't want to be that bag leg. Let it go. One of the main topics were a mother having to raise a child by herself. And you know, I go through it every day. So... I have a baby with my mom. You get what I'm saying? The whole first year of Casey, and still, I'm doing it by myself. Like, I'm really doing it by myself. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, people see him, whatever the case may be. But in reality, that's me. That's my baby. You know? Not myself in the morning. Things I've accepted to be loved has taken its toll on me. My dad died a year ago, and he was never in my life. We died being, he died being, um, with us being on bad terms. I have been coping with this relationship and loss for over a year. I just want to be happy. I want to be debt free. I want to be the best mom to my kids, financially stable and 100% healthy. I'm leaving all of my hurt here. So when we did our first activity, my note was super long. I ain't necessarily, I won't say I don't have insecurities, but I did just come out of a five year relationship. And that's one thing I am trying to do, like get back to myself. So that activity helped me a lot. I was able to put it all on the table and burn it. Hopefully I don't even have to go back through that again. I'm glad I was actually able to overcome that. Well, I'm supposed to let go of my anger to start a new thing. I'm every relationship I've been in. So I don't trust people. I explain my thing to everybody. I can't hear her. Why can't you let go of her anger? I was kind of scared to open up to anybody because I got a lot of anger problems, a lot of domestic violence problems. I'm, I just get emotional and I didn't want to cry. They made me cry, which I was like, I feel bad because I don't want to. I don't like to cry on camera. I mean, it's just, I've been through a hell of a lot, and I ain't trying to cry now. So yeah, yeah, not for even to cry, but yeah, it was really hurtful all my shit I've been through. So I think it's about time we go ahead and. Burn it up, burn it up, burn it up, let it go, and call it a night. A night. Bye. So with that little altercation, I felt like we could get past that. It's, it was very much petty to me because why are you doing all that acting? Like, you gotta act the same on and offline. Don't get in front of all these people trying to show up because this one the energy before we just walked out here. So how y'all feel about this? I feel good. I feel good. I, good. I think I'm good. Yeah. I feel really happy. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. It would become out helpful yeah. in the most important thing. I think that was the main thing to just let go of stuff that you've been holding on to, especially day one, because we're about to start turning into some bad dudes. Y'all are already bad, but we're about to take it up a notch. I don't think y'all are ready for what's coming to y'all, but I'm excited and I'm ready for you guys to get to it. So, I think it's time to head back to the house okay. and do whatever y'all do. I'm not well, I think it's time for me to Skip on up out of here myself. Episode 2. I'm born in the motherfucker. I don't even know if I want to. Uh, wait a minute. What is this? 3? No, this is 2. I don't even know if I want to watch 3. Shit. God dang. Alright. That was Basic Baddies. Basic 2 Baddies. Episode 2.